hello everybody so you know that we just created the page the login view and here we are just getting the view of this page there you can see that when we just dial the login controller here in the URL then you know that we just getting this page and in this page the index function is loading automatically if you just want to load the index function separately so let's just type the index and press enter now the index function is loading but it's still we are getting the same thing because in the index function which is which was loading automatically has the view the login view which is this th that file now I just want to teach you to apply the bootstrap and the jQuery to this file just why because I just don't want to create some kind of CSS uh, special CSS for this course because you know that this can take a lot of time so in this single class we'll just apply the bootstrap and bootstrap works automatically to provide us the best style and this is HTML and CSS framework including the JS2 which works based on jQuery we can use the bootstrap classes to apply the bootstrap easily um, to apply the theme of the bootstrap I'll just guide you about how the bootstrap works and if you just know about the bootstrap then this will be great but if you just don't know about the bootstrap then what you need to do if you just want to learn the bootstrap too then we have the course of the bootstrap me and Joe Paris has a course named bootstrap uh, uh, build for project bootstrap masterclass build for projects where you can just uh, learn more and more about the bootstrap too so guys there to get into the bootstrap let's just type get bootstrap.com as I typed and then you got this page bootstrap is the most popular HTML CSS and JS framework for developing responsive mobile first projects this is the best thing of the uh, bootstrap that it's mobile first and then responsive to okay now there is a link to download the bootstrap we just need to click on the download bootstrap and uh, it's about to download now download bootstrap has a few easy ways to create to quickly get started each one appealing to a different skill level and use case etc whatever now there are three things uh, as, as they say that uh, there are a few easy ways by the way the three things are there but we'll just prefer this to download bootstrap and the other thing is the bootstrap with the CDN we can do two things one thing we can download the bootstrap without uh, any kind of uh, online activity we will just we will work on the bootstrap offline but if you just want if you just don't need to download don't like to download the bootstrap then you just need to copy the whole things okay the bootstrap theme.min.cc is not important so actually you just need to copy this one this one and then bootstrap will work on your computer and then for the jquery you just need to copy the cdn of the jquery too all these things are based on the, the online activities so if you're just working online then this is preferred but you can download the bootstrap too but if you're just working on offline in your system or in on your local host so the download is preferred because sometimes you just can last your internet connection so you can get some problems I'm just teaching you how the bootstrap works simply just copy this link I'm copying that and just go to the folder and where to apply the bootstrap CDN here in the login view just after the title you know that how we just apply the link the you know what is this this is the simple style sheet now how to test that bootstrap is working go to the browser and here just refresh the page you will see something new refresh that now in in a single second yeah you can see that the text style has been changed and it just lost the hidden width so it's working perfectly so by the way the thing is that if I just go there so what is the file the script exactly this is the bootstrap.js if you just see the source bootstrap.min.js and this is bootstrap.css so this is the style sheet and this is the JS file which actually has some kind of animated styles and the hover styles and uh, different kind of uh, JS plugins like the lightbox gallery which is built in in the bootstrap and EDC a lot of things the models so by the way the thing is that it won't work the bootstrap.js won't work without the jQuery so first we need to go to the jQuery jQuery.com and open the website here I'm just opening this and just wait for a while and there you can see that the download jQuery link let's click on the download jQuery and we're on the page where you can see that the jQuery 1.x and the jQuery 2.x what is the difference between both of them the 1.x is basically has the last one point 
X version like 1.11.3 and the jQuery 2s ha X has the latest jQuery version of the two series the two number version whatever you can say now jQuery 2.1.4 2.1.4 so by the way we just don't need this we can download this too but actually we are just uh, we will use these two files because they are too cool for our work by the way the thing is that in the both versions you can see a lot of links here the download jQuery the, the compressed the uncompressed and the map we actually don't need the map and here you can see that the same things but actually we need a single file from these two files so which is the perfect file actually th these both files work in the same way but what is the difference basically this is the compressed production jQuery and this is the uncompressed development version of jQuery the basically this file is a little bit uh, higher in KB in size actually but by the way KB is not don't affect a lot more but it has spaces line breaks and uh, just see and decide the difference I'm just opening both of the versions here this one is a minified version and this one is the uh, sorry this one is the this one the first one the compressed version is a minified version and second one is the general version so now you can see that the jQuery.min.j so you can see that it has no no line break no extra line break here you can see that we just can't put these things there just why because um, because why just because there is no extra line space between the whole line okay but you know that if you just know about the JS then you know that if you just type var then we have to add any space so that's why it just got an enter but here the same thing with a lot of spaces so that's why it this the size of this file is a little bit bigger so go there and I'm just copying the first one and click on the save link as okay so now where to paste that file I'm just going to the uh, this dot PC and there in the C folder uh, C drive the HD docs in the CI and here is the application sorry what I'm just gonna do oh just escape this right now I was just teaching you about the CDN so sorry about that here I'll just teach you to download two but right now I'm just teaching you about to download the CDN by the way now here is the CDN for boots uh, for jQuery you can see that the jQuery 1.11 I just need the 1.11 bootstrap so I just simply copy this one here I'm copying and first just after the link uh, link tag which is actually the CSS file of the of the bootstrap just apply the jQuery file again I'm telling that we have to apply the jQuery first then we can apply the bootstrap so now let's just copy we just don't need this theme actually we just need to download this script so let's just copy the script and go there to the browser and sorry to the uh, sublime and paste that again I'm just clearing that we have to paste the jQuery link first or if we just uh, set the jQuery offline then we have to do the same that jQuery on should be the first number and then the bootstrap now save and go to the browser and refresh now it's working by the way if I just go there so what more we need to do in the next class I'll just teach you how to download the bootstrap and the jQuery then we will proceed to next this class is really important because I just don't know that you know about the jQuery or no but if you just don't know then you have to set up all these things so stay tuned and goodbye